Hi, it's Cindy again. Um, I just wanted to show you a few things that I've been making. Um, the inspiration for these little bird nests comes from Sock Crafters. Uh, she did a video on how to make them. And uh, this is how mine turned out. Aren't they so cute? And look at this one. And this one. You can make them whatever size you want. Uh, the bird eggs, she also did uh, a tutorial on those. And um, they're made out of polymer clay. If you use polymer clay, you do have to bake them. Uh, and you have to sit right there because they'll burn on the bottom really quick. But um, these are just so, so cute. I just love them. And uh, I use different things to color them with. Some of them I just used acrylic paint. And some of them I used, you know, like uh, the ink. Uh, spray ink and different things. I had a hard time with some of them because some of them wouldn't take the paint right. Or the dye right. Like this one. Some of them came out like this. But I think they look okay for eggs. Anyways, um, I made a bunch of these. And I'll just use them, you know, in different projects whenever I need them. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. I actually speckled my eggs with some brown paint, um, which was different from, you know, what she did. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to put those away. Uh-oh, sorry, I hit the camera. And then, um, I didn't have any of the crinkle seam binding, so of course I had to buy the seam binding and order it online. But this is what I came up with. So now I have all these... When I don't feel like, you know, starting a project or during the week after work, I'll just sit sometimes and make things like these, you know, to use whenever I do have time and motivation to do crafts. So anyway, now I have all this uh, crinkle seam binding. And um, I went garage selling last weekend and I actually got this box at a garage sale for like a dollar or two dollars. they cute. It's fabric. And then... Um, Something else I got at a garage sale last weekend are these, these applique things. Um, I got these really cheap. I think I paid a dollar for all these or something like that. This one's cut, but that's okay. Um, but for that price, you can't pass that up. And these all, there's three of these. No, there's two of them. Uh, anyway, the price tag on them is $28.99. So anyway, I got all these for like a dollar or something. can't remember, but it was really cheap. Um, anyways, um, on the bird nest tutorial, Saw Crafters said to uh, get the stuff to make them out of at the Dollar Tree. And of course I went to like six plus a couple other dollar stores and I never could find it. So I went to Hobby Lobby and just bought this. Anyway, uh, I'm back. The memory card got full on my camera. I had to stop and do all that. So... Anyway, I was telling you that I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, it's similar to what Saw Crafters uses. Um, I never could find the stuff she used, but this is just like American moss or some kind of straw. It's just in the floral department. It was two dollars, you know. I used twenty dollars worth of gas trying to find the other kind, and this was only two dollars at Hobby Lobby. Anyway. Um, I also got the green, and I used it on uh, one or two, and it works too. It's a little harder, you know, to color because it's green, but it works. I did get this at the Dollar Tree, these two birds to go on there. And um, then I came up with my own idea to make these. This is made out of strips of burlap. Now all you do is roll it just like you're doing the roses, and you just kind of form it with your fingers. I used hot glue on all of mine. On my nest and on this kind of nest too so and I just glued the uh, eggs in there I think it's really cute too and it's different um, so I've been you know making some more I haven't finished them but this is what they look like it looks just like the rolled rose and you just kind of form it with your hands uh, and put some hot glue under the bottom and um, you can do different colors whatever color you know burlap you have I just cut a strip about an inch wide and about a yard long and rolled it up and that's all it was to that um, and the other thing is uh, I've been crocheting a lot of doilies because um, I didn't have that many and I wanted you know different sizes and colors I couldn't find any cheap so 
for probably about two months I've been crocheting doilies like at night when I'm watching TV and um, this is one of my favorites and this cute it's got hearts in the pattern I did this from a YouTube tutorial I don't know if you can see it or not but it does have little hearts in it. it's really cute I think I need to put like a uh, fabric stiffener on them you know to make them flat but you got to block them and do all that so I haven't had time to do that but I like that one this one's just kind of one I made up that's not real flat but all you figure out something to use it for and this one I like this one this one's pink you can get this crochet thread in all kind of colors at Hobby Lobby and Michaels get this one and this one this one I really like this too isn't that cute just to be able to make um, it's not real even because um, sometimes I follow you know a pattern or part of a pattern and then I make up some of it so mine aren't always even or always flat but that's okay because I'm going to be using them on projects like wall hangings and stuff like that or you know covering wooden boxes with so I can stretch them and make them do whatever I want to probably but I really like this one too I love the ones with the flower centers and this one this is my favorite color uh, actually turquoise but this is more of a teal but I really like it and you can get this like vintage colored you know crochet thread it's already that color you don't have to dye it or tea dye it or anything and this one anyway as you see I have a whole stack here some are better than others some of them you know followed a pattern some of them I just made up so as I went I made different sizes because this is exactly what I wanted. A bunch of doilies to do whatever I want with. There's even a tiny one. This one. This one. A little square. I really like this salmon color. Coral. It's like a coral color. Um, another pink one. So, oh, I really like this one too. I like this color. This is a green but it really looks kind of teal to me. This one. This. I really like this one too. Of course this one was a pattern I found I think in a book or something or, or on YouTube. One or the other. But now I got lots of doilies. Plus I had a few bought ones. That's a little one. Uh oh. Better fingers. battery's about to run out too so this will be a quick video let's see 